The internationally renowned Canadian conductor Jacques Lacombe has just moved from his hometown of Montreal to Newark, New Jersey, where he's the new music director of the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra. He first met the orchestra two years ago when he guest conducted Karl Orff's Carmina Burana. I was uh, asked to come here as a guest conductor conducting Carmina Burana, of which we just released a CD a couple of weeks ago. And we, from, I think from the first rehearsal, we just connected and felt that, man, this, this could be a, a very in, a, exciting and productive journey that we could do together. <laughs> I'll give you my trick one day. <laughs> one thing that's been really delightful has been his youth. He's really full of energy. Yeah. Yeah. It's infectious. My first impression of Jacques, and the one that continues, is, um, I would say, if I had to use one word, be commitment, that um, everything he does he does with commitment. In rehearsal, he is meticulous and cleans everything up so beautifully. And what that means is that in performance, he can do whatever he wants. He's a, he's a race car driver, and we're a really, really fine car, beautifully tuned. Mm -hmm. It's very important, I think, in my opinion, that the musicians are involved in the decision of choosing who they're going to make the music with. I thought it was a very healthy, very well uh, thought process, and the musicians, I know, had a very strong word in the, in the final decision. Because it's like a honeymoon, you know, the relationship between a conductor and his orchestra, I always compare it to like a, a marriage, you know. So it's important that we have love at first sight and that we both decide that we want to work together. I've discovered that this state has such a rich past you know, in all kinds of fields, including you know, art, music. So we've decided, for instance, to promote music by Jersey composers or composers who had a significant link with the, the state. This piece is by Roger Sessions is part of a project that I launched this season, the New Jersey Roots Project, which I hope you may have uh, heard about already. Uh, as I said, Roger Sessions was an important composition teacher. Uh, many composers uh, from the United States, but also from abroad, came to study in Princeton with uh, Sessions. So that's a very important part of, of my, my philosophy. And trying to organize also projects where we could reach the community. He's connecting it with some of the gospel choirs and getting to know them, and they're doing block parties. I have to tell you that since we've moved here in Newark, I mean, we love the place. And it's so funny because when you talk about Newark, I can say it because I'm not from here, I mean, I'm from north, but even from people from the States, I've, I've had situations where I cross the border and your, your custom guards are saying, you're going to Newark? What are you thinking? It's a beautiful place. It's a very exciting place to be. And I, it's a place that needs to be discovered. I think the reputation of, of, of Newark and New Jersey, most, most largely, is very much underestimated outside of the States. Lacombe was a late bloomer in musical terms. Until the age of 11, he spent far more time playing hockey than practicing music. Generally speaking, you know, kids start music when they're five or six years old. But I seriously started studying music only when I was about 11. Uh, sort of an accident because my family moved in a house where there was a piano in the basement when I was 10. And for about a year I played on the piano, whatever I could reproduce from hearing on the radio. Uh, the first thing I've learned was uh, The Entertainer by Scott Joplin, for instance. And then I became a member of a boys' choir, and then I, it was a magnific magnificent uh, organ in the church where I was singing, so I was fascinated by that. Started to study organ, and organ is a very good introduction to the orchestra, so one thing leading to the other, I became a conductor when I was about 18.
he comes very often to Berlin to conduct at the Deutsche Opera and you know, we, we meet sometimes for lunch and talk about music. And then he heard me play Rachmaninoff too in Berlin. He's very artistic and he's, a, he's also very intellectual. He goes very deep into detail and uh, you know the chemistry is there <laughs> as they say and we, we just um, seem to breathe at, at the same time. Jack has worked a lot at the opera and you know the singers they don't have really a very often they don't have a feeling of measure they can they can sing very freely and uh, I think he's so used to it it makes him a perfect and comforting conductor but he's also I've heard him also um, conducting in concerts and he's a wonderful uh, conductor also on his own with the orchestra I chose to become a conductor because I wanted to make music with musicians. So, and you can't be a tyrant. And because the best, the most powerful way to make people make beautiful music is to make one them play for you, not to force them to play for you. There's a very special energy in the orchestra where you feel that people really care about the organization. It must have something to do with the, the history of, of, of the orchestra also. People come here and they really want to give their best. Mm -hmm. 